Hello everyone, and welcome back to Wargame Red Dragon. I hadn't planned on casting this one at all, but it's, uh... Well, something during the game made me change my mind on that. It's a public lobby, 1v1. I was trying out Dutch-German mechanized, which, you know, doing that on mud fights, and particularly with this sort of goofy opening, I figured it could go either way. But the reason that I'm casting it is because my opponent had three games under his belt, and... I, in the lobby, I said to him, hey, you know, this, uh, I'm <laughs> not exactly a new player, is this your fourth game, or, you know, new player, and he goes, yeah, I'm a new player, and I just want you guys to form your own opinion of this, because it'll go one way, then the other, and I hope to surprise you with something at the end, so, we have an H1J Cobra, could mean blue, could mean USA, I've seen a lot of blue lately, so I figured maybe that's blue, and that was actually pretty good, you know, for somebody playing his fourth game, I wouldn't have necessarily expected that, um, you know, I would have expected it to get thrown away if it was even used at all. Sometimes people don't even really use recon when they're still new. And this is good, cautious play. So that is pretty nice. And, um, I wasn't really, I mean, I wasn't in voice with this guy. My intention with this opener was just to try something completely goofy. So I'm you know, defending over here, Milan 2. Uh, I think I even had a Stinger team. Yeah, Stinger team and who's out in. And then more recon up this way. And you can see that my opponent here, uh, Jubiz, is going for the town between Delta Alpha. That sort of makes sense. A lot of people do that. I'm really going more for Foxtrot. And I would kind of expected somebody on four games to cap a lot. Right? You see this pretty often, especially if they play Destruction for their first game and they tie their income to it. People tend to cap a lot. Or even Conquest, they go, okay, well, let's put these things in zones. Or sometimes they don't know, so it could go either way here. But instead, we have a unit defending the traditional spot in Foxtrot. It's like up here or up here. It's a Super Dragon, which was kind of trolling my AMX Prees, which, uh, you know, I don't expect this thing to hit nearly as often as that just did. But it's actually 50%, which I'd forgotten it's that high. But nice support from the Cobra. Double HC Abrams, there's a Patriot, and it's rotating. And I'm sitting there going, wow, this guy is actually, you know, he's, he's responsive. He's even fast moving the reinforcements over to, to get them over here. A lot of newer players will just right click. You don't necessarily realize what fast move does or how it's used. And uh, I was sitting there going, is this, is this actually your fourth game? And so I asked him that and he said, not right now, actually right after this engagement, but he said basically um, he was at a cousin's house and you know probably either bought the game for his cousin or his cousin just bought it. And he was showing them the ropes and you know how to play the game, how to do some things there. And I think that's really pretty cool. And, you know, in the community, we often joke that it's, a, it's a, either a dead game or a dying game. And I refuse to believe this. I think it's a really fun game. And I hope it uh, gets attention and gets a player base for quite a while longer. By the way, smoke your tanks. Youch. Um, but I just thought it was really cool. And I, I want you guys to keep in mind that the winter sale is on. This is the whole reason I'm casting the game. The winter sale is on. There are going to be new players. Just, um, just remember, new players are, are a very good thing, and, uh, you know, if you're going into a public lobby and you've got you know, a thousand or two thousand games under your belt, you see somebody with two or three games, maybe don't kick them all the time, and, you know, maybe you don't have to play against them either, but, you know, if it, if it doesn't hurt too much, just take them on your team. Do a 2v2, wait for another new player to join the lobby, and see if you can do things that way, and sort of, you know try and encourage that as much as possible because what we don't want to have happen is we don't want everybody to play this game like once or twice and then never touch it again because people online are jerks and you know people online can be jerks and especially with Fleer Foss 2 teams against Super Cobras but um I don't know use the chat function use it well and I think we have a golden opportunity here just like I think every time that war game goes on sale uh more players is good. More players is better than fewer players. In fact, part of why I'm running the 2v2 tourney that I am right now, and you guys will see some games from that soon, I hope. I have a couple that I need to cast, and we should have a couple more matches here shortly, but uh, part of the whole reason for that is so that experienced players can pass on some of that skills and, and knowledge and experience to newer players and help them really maintain that enthusiasm for the game. And... Yeah, I think that's a I think it's a really nice thing if we can swing it. So now is our opportunity to swing it. And it is Christmas, it is New Year's and all that. This is the time of year we're supposed to be nice to each other. Not night hawking each other's leopard recannings or anything like that. But double roll and three will take care of that pretty well. 
man. I like this thing. I really like the Roland 3. Goodness gracious. Also, I'm trying to undo my habit of underbuying anti-air in case you can't tell. Fleeger Foss 2, double Roland 3, more Fleeger Foss 2, more Stinger teams. That, yes, does mean double card of man pads, but did you see Mac? I often find struggles with anti-air, so just attempting to work on that. Not sure how I feel about the FL15, by the way. Short range, and they are kinetic rounds, and I actually prefer the heat version for some applications. Like, I just, I couldn't pen the, the M1, I'm pretty sure. It's at 12 AP, yeah, it's going to be 15 front. So even though I had range barely, it's not even really a 12 AP, it's, it's like, it's 11 AP minus a range step, because at 11 AP it gets the additional range step, and then it punches at 12. So it's, it's worse than an 11 AP gone with max range. Um, and that does kind of hurt a little bit, but we've seen a Nighthawk come in, we've seen a couple of things there. The double HC Abrams is going to be a very, very tough thing to recover from. So, once again, smoke your tanks, be nice to new players, see what we can do here. And if you're going to take it as an opportunity, try out some new decks. Try out some things you haven't uh, done before for openers. Maybe have some games that aren't strictly, well, I'm going to put helicopters in your base, or I'm going to... Uh, sneak everything all the way around because I know that you don't know how to defend against it or something like that because I Don't know. I I almost said this before during the summer sale half a year ago, but uh, I There's been a lot of players in the community who have recently stopped uh, people like balanced people uh, of that sort of era of top players and you know, I, I've been Brig for a while, but I'm not anywhere close to that level of skill. And the only way we're going to see that level of skill come back again is to uh, have a nice, growing, healthy community that can provide enough players to have that, right? Like, you can't you can't generate that out of nowhere. It has to be forged in the, the crucible that is 1v1 in this game, or team games in this game. And, and that requires people to enjoy it and that requires people to play it and to play it well so you know if you're having a bad day and you pick up war game and you're playing against a newer player and you have a temptation to just go after him and maybe type something like get good scrub or you know how's that feel new and things like that maybe maybe don't and uh maybe instead see if you can help them and we'll have a good opponent in a couple of months once they figure out how to use those things better. Um, by the way, the, the Harrier followed by Seed was another reason I was sitting there going, uh, okay, not your fourth game. That was actually really well done too. I turn on the roll in threes, cheap plane, take some hits, doesn't even die, and I lose a roll in threes. It's a really nice trade for the red four player here. Well, I say red four, basically blue four. Another little side note, this is why I push the box in and then pull the leopard twos back. Still very, very dangerous positioning here, but uh, I was expecting a game against a complete noob, and I was just sitting there going, eh, okay, we won't we won't necessarily play like we're going against a, a brig gen or a colonel or something like that. So, anyway, that's most of what I got for you guys. We did trade pretty well here. I was gearing up to attack the center town between Delta Foxtrot. Just wanted to try pushing it with some request rifle jeeps and some infantry. Didn't actually realize this didn't split properly. But, uh... Right as I was gearing up to do that, I did get the, the wave from my opponent here as he was going to let his cousin take over and try something in single player first. So that's all I've got for you guys today. And well, thank you all for hanging around here in my little bit of a preachy moment here. But I don't know, I figure if you're if you're watching a tiny ass YouTube channel for a game like this, then maybe you have an interest in that sort of thing as well. So yeah, now's the time. We'll see you guys again with some team games that I've been promising for a little while. I swear they are recorded. One of them got bumped in order to put this video up, so sorry about that. And we'll see you guys again real soon.